Dude, you're gonna get manure all over the place. Food soon, Mr. Morgan. I hear you, Mr. Pearson. Feel free to go and catch it yourself. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning? Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. Good morning, Uncle Arthur. I just miss him so much.
have mercy. Shit. Easy. Come here! Come here! Sure, we don't need to go any further with that. You're getting robbed, mister. Give me everything you got. No, no, stop it. Second thoughts, I'll find someone richer. I'm done with this, all right? I'm leaving. Run back. Yep. 
Ouch! Come on now! Damn it! Come on! Just come on! Come on now! Easy! Easy now! Easy! With you. Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say? Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening damn money. Son of a bitch. Hey boy. 
Strange mutt. Stay here. Wondered when you'd roll back in. You been bringing in money? Of course I have. You're a lying sack of shit, Williamson. You really are. Don't you test me, Morgan. Calm down. You're not funny. You're okay, boy. Still reading? You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these Hello. parts, Canadian feller, skilled tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime.
How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Got Lily Millet's debt. Made some bad decisions in her life. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Arthur. Can't even be bothered with this. I'm just fine without your company, and that don't need to change. Howdy. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? 
Certainly, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm, I'm not running anywhere. I'm, 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 do, I'm doing my best for you. If you want... If you want the money, you'll have to wait. Pay the money, you'll make this stop. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <gasps> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course.
there, Arthur. Shame about them calendar boys, I reckon. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I once saw Mac beat up 15 sailors. <laughs> I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Everybody knows them Navy boys can't fly. Thank you, Arthur. That's why they float. <laughs> That's so. Sure. They ain't nothing. I once beat up 20. Okay. Good evening. Sorry, Jack, you okay? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way. Sort of. If there's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. Uh, that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> Uh, I'll miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spark, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? 
Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Good morning, mister. Watch it. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. All right, boy. Stables are just up ahead. <laughs> Sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No, no papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Right, partner, you got yourself a deal and a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush and some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. 
Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Hey, do I? So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run. Up, oof. <laughs> Up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. Things with you and John. Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised it. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Stone Pond. We're going the right way. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. What the hell are you shooting at? Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. We'll try and shoot one. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Well, then, you get a set up. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're... Delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <laughs> you want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> Morning. 
and Arthur. You ready? No, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track them, but we might need to lay bait to draw them out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Hurry up so we can get going. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Okay, let's go. Yeah. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? Well, I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever... Think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. The truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. What the hell, Arthur? You were just talking about something. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Easy, Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? The tracks go into those trees. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There she is here. Watch your step. Looks a real friend. I reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going.
We lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Best bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. Now it's too close. Everything all right? You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. <clears throat> nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming? I'm going to stick around here for a while. <laughs> uh, I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! Out of trail. Yeah, still a ways. <laughs> 